Hey everybody, I'm back. Time for another episode of Book Review Slash Talk. And today, I'm going to be sharing you guys, sharing with you guys Deeper Than the Dead by Tani Hoga. I think is how you pronounce her last name. I am not 100% sure on the last name. And on last names I don't know how to pronounce, I'm just going to try my best. So here we go. California, 1985. Four children and young teacher and... Narve, I think is how you pronounce the last name, make a gruesome discovery. A partially buried female body, her eyes and mouth glued shut, a serial killer is at large. And the very bonds that held their idyllic <laughs> town together are about to be tested to the, to the breaking point. Tested, tasked with finding the killer, FBI investigator Vince Lennon employs a new and controversial FBI technique called profiling, which plunges him into the lives of the four children and the young teacher who need to uncover the truth as intense as his own. But as new victims are found and pressure from the media grows, Vince and Anne find themselves circling the same small group of local suspects, unsure whether those who are whether those who suffer most are the victims themselves or those close to the killer, blissfully unaware that someone very near to them is a murderous psychopath. Now, a little bit of backstory on why I got this book. So, back in 2011, uh, like, the first f- four or five months-ish of 2011, I, well, okay, January of 2011, I had a seizure during a test, and I will make that video later if I make it. I'm still contemplating making that video and telling you guys that really thing, that thing. So anyways, um, one day I had, I got, I had to go to the doctors and so my mom and dad came to pick me up from school and I asked my mom, oh, can we get a, get me a library card? Because I love reading and at the time I didn't have a job, but I do now. Anyways, so my mom and I my, after my dad dropped us off at the library closest to the high school, I graduated from Oscar Romero. That's the probably the only time. No, if I do make the video about my seizure, I will mention the name again. And probably in future videos too. So we shall see if I... And this is not a sponsored post. I don't even think they'll be watching my videos. I don't even know if they're watching it. So anyways, here we go. Um, So I got... My mom and I were in the library signing me up for the library card. And... I know here in Edmonton, like, all the cards are, like, have different little sayings on it. I don't know if that's the same with every public library all across Canada and every library in the world. But the library card I got says, Chicks Take Big Brains. Now, I know I do as long as the guy doesn't make me feel stupid about a word I don't know or something. Anyways, regardless, my mom was like, oh, I'll pick up a book. So I went and then I saw this, the hardcover version, and I fell in, I was like, oh, okay, this book looks interesting. I like murder mysteries as much as the next person. And so I read it. And I couldn't put it down. And I kept reading and I kept going to the library and taking it out if it wasn't taken out already. And so, and in my English class, we had to do, we had our team, the teacher, Miss Lewis, she would give us 10, min- 10 minutes of reading time every morning. Like, every... Not every morning, because some two days the classes were in the morning. The other two days, classes were in the afternoon. It was an alternating, alternating schedule between days one and four. Anyways, so... And we also had, like, this, science, this list that we had to choose a project for, like, a book report. And we could do, like, any anyone. So I chose Deeper Than the Dead to do my thing on. And it was, like, an interview between... A character from the book you read, and I happen to chose Dennis Foreman. He's one of the kids that found the book, the dead body, and little bit of interesting info about Dennis. He gets abused by his dad, who's his dad's a loser, and his mom's an alcoholic, and he also happens to beat her. But anyways, that's the trigger, which I will put in the description, and. There's that. And then um, there's his friend, Cody. And then the two targets, Wendy and Tommy, that also find the body. And it's really, like, 
and I'm not going to be spoiling too much of it, but you don't expect who the killer is. You think you know who the killer is going to be. As you're reading, it's like, oh. As I was reading it, I was thinking, oh, I know who the killer is. I know who it is. But then when you go right, you, the book automatically takes you left. And it was, oh, my God. It was awesome. So, yeah. Bye for now.